Today's video is gonna save you a ton of time. I'm gonna show you how to schedule your Instagram posts so that you can automate everything that you share on Instagram. Now this is including Instagram stories and multiple photo uploads. All you need to do is just sit back right now, relax and watch to the end of the video where I'm also gonna share with you a bonus tip. And after hearing this tip, I guarantee you that you'll be saving so much time that you'll be able to take up a new hobby, create a killer business idea, or just do something you love doing. Today's video is part two. Now, I actually created part one a few days ago where I show you how to create 30 days or one month of Instagram content in just one day. And if you missed this, you should definitely watch that here right now. Just before we start, I wanna find out how you guys are actually getting on on Instagram. Are you currently crushing an Instagram right now? Or are you finding it really tough to gain followers since Instagram decreased its organic reach? Just drop me a yes or a no simply in the comment section below and I'll get back to you after the video. Without further ado, let's jump in to the good stuff. Scheduling your Instagram content is gonna save you so much time. It's also gonna enable you to post at the best times of the day. These are the times when you've got the most people online which will be viewing your pictures or your video. But the way we're gonna do this today is the way I do it and the way I take care of multiple social media accounts. I use a third party app and this app is called Lately Social. So let's jump over onto Google Chrome and open that up or whatever browser it is that you use. Then type in Lately Social, and then click on the first option which shows up. Now let's go straight in and sign up for an account. You'll have to put your details in on the left hand side here as you can see. So I'm just gonna speed this section up And then you're ready to log in. So this is going to log you into Lately Social. As soon as you're logged in, it's going to bring you straight to the dashboard area on Lately Social. And this is where all the magic happens. This is where you can schedule posts and you can do lots of other things. But this video is all about scheduling posts. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. You can see on the left hand side here that you have your social media accounts which you can use on Lately Social. But for this video, I'm just gonna show you how to use Instagram. Now, to link up your Instagram account to Lately Social is really simple. You just need to come down to Account Manager on the left hand side, and then you need to link up your Instagram account. Come over to the Instagram section here and then click on Add Account. Now, when you've put in your details, there's a good chance you're going to get this notification. Now, a lot of people are like, whoa, OK, is my Instagram account being hacked? What's going on? No, don't worry. It's not being hacked. Instagram are very hot on the protection of their social media platform. And this is why you have to kind of use this third party app as a separate login so that you can actually use the Instagram app. Now, I promise you there's nothing to worry about. I've been using this app for years and you'll be able to find many people on forums which have used this successfully. So all you need to do now is click close. And as you can see, I've now got this Instagram account, which is actually logged in to Lately Social. So what I want to do now is I actually want to put a post on, but I want to schedule the post. So all I need to do is click on Instagram on the left hand side and then go to post. Now, as you can see in this section here, you've got a few options. But the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you tick the account, which lets Lately Social know that you're going to be posting on this account here. At the top, you've got media, which is going to be things like video or it's going to be other things like photos. 
you've got story, you can post to your story or schedule to your story, and you have carousel. Now, if you don't know what carousel is, it means you can put multiple photos on in one go. And that seems to be something which a lot of people are using on Instagram at the moment. Now, the way to actually get these on here is to use file manager or to use these options here. If I click on file manager, it means that it's gonna go to my computer and I can choose a picture, but it will actually save that image on Lately Social itself. If I go to this option, I'm just gonna grab a quick photo here, this one, and then I'm just gonna press open. And as you can see, this option just enables you to upload this to Lately Social itself. And you can see that you've got this little thumbnail that displays here and then the actual picture on the right hand side. Now you've got two other options. You can use Dropbox and you can use uh, Google Drive. So if you've got your photos stored on there, which a lot of people use cloud devices, then you can obviously click on that and then you can get your photo from there. The next step is to add in your description. So you type in your description here, let's say the beautiful grounds at the park. It doesn't really even make sense, but don't worry about it. And then this is where you'd add your hashtags. So you can start adding hashtags here, like park, green, landscape and whatever else it is that you choose to use. Now you've also got other options here. You can actually add in, if I wanted to add in here a little emoji, I can add in an emoji because you've got them stored on the app itself. So I'll just add in that emoji there as well. Now this is probably the part that you've really been actually looking forward to seeing on the video. How do you schedule your post? Well, it's as simple as clicking the schedule button right here and then you have time post, which is the time that you can choose to schedule your post on. So all you need to do is click in here and it's gonna give you the date. So let's say I want to choose today or, or if I wanna choose you know, next year's January, you can, or you can choose next month. So, okay, let's say February the 1st, which is the Saturday, I click okay, and then you get this clock face which shows up. Now, as you can see, you've got the numbers around the outside here and the numbers on the inside. Numbers on the inside are the 24 hour clock. So if I wanted to schedule at six o'clock, I would choose 18, click OK, and then I choose when in six or when past six o'clock, I would want to actually post this. So let's say 6.30 and click OK. Now that time post has been set there, you can put repeat frequency if you want to. That's not something that I bother with, but if you want to go a step further and automate it, you can. And then you just wanna click ends on, and what I usually do here is just choose the same option. So let's just click off this, click back on, choose the 1st of February, and then six o'clock, or 6.30, and okay. And then all you have to do is click schedule post, but you do have the option or the advanced options to add other things in. You can add location. So I could put here, um, Canuck Chase, and then that will search for it. And then it will give you the option to actually put your location in like that there. Now, what else you can do is you can also put in the first comment. So if you wanna ask a question, to your audience, like, what do you think? Then this will actually show up just under your picture in the comment section as well, which is great. Okay, so that is all ready to go now. All you need to do is go ahead and click schedule post. So I'm gonna hit schedule post and this is going to schedule. Now, you might be wondering, where do I get to see my scheduled posts so that I can actually check them out, make sure everything's okay? Well, all you need to do is come over to Schedules, and then this is actually going to show you a calendar of which you can see exactly where your posts are scheduled. Now, of course, we've only scheduled the one, but you can see that down here on the 1st of February. If I wanted to just move this over, 
you could also see it there. So this is now showing on the 1st of February, which is a Saturday. If I double click into this, now what this is gonna do is show me the details of the post. You can see that it's all scheduled here and it's ready to go. Now, like I said, you can do this with multiple different accounts. You can do this with also things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube. You've got all of these choices available to you. Now, you have signed up here for a free plan, which for most people is going to be more than enough. But if you're someone that, let's say, is a social media manager or you're looking to open a social media marketing agency, then you're going to need to take this a step further because the free plan is not going to offer you everything that you need. To view plans, click there, and this is going to show you the plans which are available to you. Okay, as you can see, you're currently on the free plan, which is great, it's going to cover most of your needs. It's brilliant as well because you can actually add up to six social accounts. But of course, this is one social account on each platform. You've also got support, cloud imports, you've also got photo and video uploads. I will say though that the video uploads is actually, it's pretty small. So if you're looking to upload a lot of video on here, I would not choose the free plan for that. I would actually go for something like the personal plan as you can see here. I use enterprise plan because I manage a lot of social media accounts. So that is ideal for me. But anyway, these are the options available to you which you can check out. And I will put a link to all of these in the description of the YouTube video. So you can just click on the link, you can sign up for a free plan if you want, or alternatively, you can sign up for one of their paid plans. I hope this video has been super helpful for anyone looking to save time and resources on the Instagrams. Please hit like and remember to comment below with your current experience on Instagram. If you're crushing it right now, leave yes, or if you're finding it hard to grow your account, leave no. I would love also to see you guys become part of our growing community here on YouTube. So join us by hitting subscribe and stop off to hit the notification bell. This makes sure that you're in the loop to see all future content. Thanks for watching guys and whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.